Welcome back everyone, let's go ahead and do another comparison this time around between the newly released Samsung Galaxy S21 and the older cousin, the Samsung Galaxy S9. Now what I can tell you is, first of all, if you have any brain, the S21 is the better phone in pretty much every single category, but there are still areas where the Samsung Galaxy S9 probably wins at, and it's so crazy to me that the S9 even wins in some categories. This phone came out in 2018, this phone just came out, three years difference between these two. Now I will find the cheapest ones of both of these and some other phones that I'd recommend this year. I'll leave them down in the description below. You can get them from there and help support the channel at the same time. Now side by side, you can definitely tell the Galaxy S21 overall is a bigger phone, which is a good thing. You know, I think, you know, bigger phones are the better way to go and you're also getting less bezel on the Samsung Galaxy S21. But on the S9 on the front, we have a 5.8 inch Super AMOLED display. It's a 1440p panel and it for sure at the end of the day is a really, really good panel still. I think Samsung knocks it out of the park with these type of screens and I think even now they still hold up extremely well. Of course, if you go for something like the S21, it's going to be better, but this panel for sure is still great. On the front of the Samsung Galaxy S21 though, we have that 6.2 inch dynamic AMOLED display and this one is 1080p, so it's actually a lower resolution than what we got on the Samsung Galaxy S9. Is it a big deal? I mean, it's not that it's a big deal. It's just kind of annoying. It's like, it's just so weird why they went into a lower resolution display. Like, it makes no sense to me. But again, maybe it was cheaper for them to do or something. But on the front, we have the whole punch display though. So you're getting less bezel on the S21 and the 120 hertz refresh rate and a fingerprint sensor in the display. So the S21 by far is the better phone. I'm not trying to say that. But the S9, you know, high resolution display kind of says something about it. On the bottom, USB Type-C ports on both headphone jack on the Galaxy S9. We do have micro SD card slot on the Samsung Galaxy S9. The Galaxy S21 doesn't have any type of capability like that. So that's another area where the S21 kind of takes the L at. I mean, that's very weird. I don't know what Samsung is thinking here. They're going backwards. Hopefully they add it in eventually, but as of right now, there's no capability on the S21. It's glass bag as well on the Samsung Galaxy S9. And this is the craziest thing. This is the craziest difference between these two phones. Just how good of a feeling phone you have on the Galaxy S9. This phone still feels like a premium, you know, flagship device. The S21 feels too much like the Galaxy A series of devices, which is annoying. So, I mean, take it as you will. The S21 is still kind of like a flagship, but I don't know. They really watered down the specific lineup. Now on the back, triple camera setup as well on the S21. Single camera setup with the fingerprint sensor on the back of the S9. And the feeling though, the S9 feels like the more premium device. The S21 for sure is the more premium device when it comes down to it reverse wireless charging as well on the S21. But in terms of that, that really pretty much covers up everything I wanted to hit on the outside and it's probably honestly the craziest difference between these two. But as stated before, the biggest difference as always typically when you were comparing the older generation of this device and the newer one is the software. When you have a phone like the Samsung Galaxy S21, you're really going to be looking at the software versions that this phone is going to be getting way more software versions than the Samsung Galaxy S9. The S9 is still going to be supported, I guess, for the entirety of One UI 2, but the fact that we have One UI 3 coming out, it's already out for the S21, the S9 is not getting any more software versions. And that's what's really sad about this type of device, is that when you're picking up something like a Samsung Galaxy S9 in this day and age, you're not really going to be getting the cream of the crop. The hardware is there for this device, don't get me wrong. If you pick up a Samsung Galaxy S9, you're still going to feel like you have a beautiful phone. But the software is the problem, even kind of the battery life. But the software is really the biggest problem here. And because of that, you're going to be getting, you know, limited battery life in this type of device. The S21 has a better battery life overall, but also you're getting a bigger battery on the S21. But definitely when it comes down to the S9, it, the software is the biggest problem. On the you know Samsung Galaxy S21, you're going to be getting a much longer lasting phone from this type of phone. You're going to be getting software updates for a very long time. Not as long as iOS, but you're still going to be supported for quite a bit of time. So that in and of itself is another area where the S21 pretty much wins at. And as I stated before, this is probably the biggest difference in terms of both these phones. It's when it comes down to the software, the battery life is going to be better on the S21. The software is going to be better on the S21. And those categories, definitely for sure, this is by far, in my opinion, the biggest difference between both these phones. So in terms of that, that really pretty much covers it up. Now let's go and do a little bit of a speed comparison between these two phones. The Samsung Galaxy S9 had that Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 chipset with four gigabytes of RAM. But the Samsung Galaxy S21 has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 chipset with eight gigabytes of RAM. So twice the amount of RAM here. So let's go and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. Okay, now that we're back, as always, I have to put on this towel so they don't, you know, kind of slide around in the light. So let's go and start loading all, all these apps up. I think I already have all of them loaded, by the way. 
So then I guess I have to hold the Samsung Galaxy S9 like this. Let's do phone calls, three, two, one. And even just from that one app, I was able to see the app opening speeds are going to be overall faster on the Galaxy S21. Let's go and do messages, three, two, one. Okay, definitely in terms of the app opening was faster on the S on the S21 for sure. Play Store, three, two, one. Again, S21 is faster. Galaxy S9 a little bit behind. Camera, three, two, one. And I'm probably going to say the S21 was the faster one there as well. And as always, I have a bunch of these third-party apps we can go and get into. Let's do cameras, three, two, one. And I even tapped Snapchat ahead on the Galaxy S9. I still think it was faster on the Galaxy S21. Let's go ahead and do Fruit Ninja, three, two, one. And one thing with the Galaxy S9 and the older versions of Samsung, look at just the app opening, just the you know app opening itself. So much glitchiness going on with this type of device. The S21 has really improved that type of thing, which is very, very important. And one pro, I would say, of the you know flat display is swiping up from a game when you have a case on. It definitely makes it a lot easier, but I still prefer the curved display, I think. Snake versus blocks, three, two, one. And there we go, the S21 far faster, Galaxy S9 a little bit behind, getting into some gameplay, let's see if there's any difference, and I don't think there's going to be a difference, it's a pretty, you know, basic game when it comes down to it, but for sure the S21 was faster there, hopping out of this one, let's go and do stack, which I don't even think I have here, yeah, I guess I don't have, let's go do temple run 2, 3, 2, 1. And you can see the S21, I think, is just the far faster phone in pretty much every single dimension. This phone is very, very fast. The S9, you know, is still pretty okay. I mean, this is a three-year difference between these two phones. And I'm actually just kind of sad, and I wish there was more of a difference. But for sure, the Galaxy S21 is the faster one. So I do have to give it you know, some benefit there, I would say. Hopping out of this one, let's go ahead and do... We already did Fruit Ninja. Let's do Quizlet. Three, two, one. And there we go again. I think, you know, the Galaxy S21 was the faster one there. Hopping out of here, let's do Bofa, three, two, one. And I totally screwed that one up too, but we'll just load it up anyway so we can get into a better RAM management test. Let's go ahead and do Twitter, three, two, one. And there we go again, S21 is like almost instantaneous. Hopping out of this one, that really pretty much covers up almost all the apps that I wanted to test. I mean, we pretty much all saw that the Samsung Galaxy S21 is the faster one for sure. Now, I do want to go ahead and load up all the apps that I went ahead and loaded up in the first place. And I kind of want to just do, you know, just kind of start loading these up. So, okay, both of them loaded that one up pretty good. Not a big difference there. Hopping out of there, messages. Just the app openings, like I stated before, is just so much faster on the Samsung Galaxy S9. Even this one, when I click on the app, it's just so much smoother, so much faster. Camera, again, almost instantaneous on the Samsung Galaxy S21. Snapchat, pretty much the same thing. I mean, I think the S9 had a restart. So definitely when it comes down to both these phones, the Galaxy S21 is the faster one for sure. But I don't know, maybe I expected more from the Samsung Galaxy S21, considering there's been you know quite a bit of difference between these two. But I guess that pretty much covers it up there. The S21 for sure is the winner. So let's go and hit on the cameras. Now, as stated before, the Samsung Galaxy S21 had a triple camera setup, a wide-angle lens, ultra-wide sensor, and then a telephoto lens, where the Samsung Galaxy S9 only has a single wide-angle lens. And as always, looking at the UIs on both cameras, it's very interesting to see, for me, like time and time again, how similar all the UIs pretty much look like. I mean, when you look at both these things, they are pretty much almost the same thing. This one's on One UI 2.5, I think it got. This one's on One UI 3, so obviously there's going to be a little bit of difference. But in terms of the video resolutions, 4K at 30 and 60 on the Samsung Galaxy S9, but we have the ability of shooting 8K on the Samsung Galaxy S21. So that in and of itself is another pretty big difference. But in terms of the UIs, they kind of have the same thing going on, which is pretty funny. Now the Samsung Galaxy S9, I think the good thing about this specific device is that with its single sensor, it is actually a pretty good sensor. We have eight, you know, we have you know the 4k at 60 which that is pretty good in and of itself but as stated before i think the biggest problem with the samsung galaxy s9 isn't necessarily the video resolutions and it's not the photos don't look good or whatever it's the fact that it's a single sensor in this day and age it's pretty important to have more than just this one single lens and that's probably the biggest problem with the samsung galaxy s9 in terms of the camera is that we don't have that telephoto or ultra wide sensor 
and it just so happens that's the exact area where the Samsung Galaxy S21 pretty much wins at. So not only do we have that telephoto lens that we can go ahead and zoom in a bunch, but we also have that ultra wide sensor that we can go ahead and zoom out a bunch as well. Now it's not really like the craziest, greatest, you know, ultra wide sensor, but it's still an ultra wide sensor nonetheless. And for sure, when it comes down to it, a mixture of that, as well as the camera quality, as well as the 8K capability. I mean, this phone is definitely much better than the S9, as well as the front camera 4K 60 here. Only, you know, 1440p on the front for the S9, which is pretty much like, you know, 1080p at the end of the day. So for sure, when it comes down to it, the Samsung Galaxy S21 has a better camera here for sure. And honestly, to kind of sum up this video and to answer the question, should you go and pick up the Samsung Galaxy S9 or should you keep your S9 or should you go and buy a Samsung Galaxy S21? Well, this is what I'll tell you. I, I don't think if you have an S9, you should go and immediately go for the S21 because I think going from a Galaxy S9 to a Galaxy S20 is also a pretty big upgrade. I honestly also think going from a Galaxy S9 to the Galaxy S10 is also a worthwhile upgrade as well. I don't necessarily think you have to go from the S21 to the, or the S9 to the S21 to get the most amount from your money or whatever because an S20 is a really, really good miles ahead of the S9 and it's not far behind the S21 and it's cheaper. But if money isn't necessarily an issue and you're okay with spending a little bit more, then I think the Galaxy S9 is a great phone. But I also think getting a Galaxy S21 Plus or Galaxy S21 Ultra is probably the better ones to pick up, you know, for the price tag. I think the S21 is a great phone, but I don't think it's necessarily worth it for the money just because of what it's lacking. In some ways, the S9 is superior with its headphone jack, with its micro SD card slot, with its high resolution display, with its glass on the back. I mean, there's a lot of things that the S9 has that the S21 actually doesn't have and it's crazy because like i said three years of difference between these two like I, I mean i think the biggest difference is the software and the battery life everything else you can pretty much get away with the camera quality the performance really isn't even that far behind on the s9 it just so happens that you know with the whole entire software dilemma that's when you're going to see the biggest difference between these two phones so in terms of that that pretty much covers it up if you guys have any other questions or if you want to pick up these phones links will be down in the description if you guys have any other questions or anything like that let me know in the comment section as well hit the like button that me so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so me so much if you guys can hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my other channels more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out till then